Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Princess Maker 2 Regeneration for the Steam version, although it's on other systems. This was given to me for free by the developer. So we are at the end of Operation Worst Father Ever, and I'm sitting here in awe, and was sitting here in awe between episodes, that we were basically done when she was 14. There was a little bit left, but... She was basically done at 14. It's just shocking to me that I was this efficient. And so now we're just going to finish up a little bit more. Um, we're going to have her work at the bar a couple more times. But I think we only need to work there once more. And then she will be uh, ready. Uh, she'll be capped where we need her to be. We're also going to have her lose a little bit of weight. Because she's 46 kilos. We want to keep that... a. Just as long as it's below 48. Um, and yeah, so Eloquence is capped. Now, being at this job, she's earning money. But that's it. She's just getting money and stress. That's it. So that's fine. Um, yeah, she's, she's fine. So everything's good. Everything is perfect. Things are going perfectly well. Oh, crap. She's not going to lose weight. It's no longer summer. Um, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got some money. Now it's time to go to the Harvest Festival one more time. You've seen this numerous times. I will skip over it, but we're going to do the combat tournament one more time. Get ourselves another sword, a little bit more fighter rep, and more importantly, get some cash. I think Neo Tengu's in trouble. I believe Anita's going to be... I think Anita's going to defeat her this time. Yup, Anita unfortunately wins the fight, so we did not win the tournament this year. Yay, I did it! I always knew I was a genius! Oh, I guess I need to train harder. It's okay, Neo Tango. Let's see what happens, because that that's probably not a real issue. Her fighting reputation is still 460. And... We're not going to have to pay any money for this. So, I think that's it? Holy crap, Anita made a go of it in the finals, too. Anita won! Damn, Anita, you got your shit together. Okay, so... Don't worry too much about not winning a single match. Girls seem cuter when they're not too strong. Shut the fuck up, cube. And... Yeah, there's no problem. No, no problem whatsoever. Another douchebag asking for her hand in marriage, so we say no. We got $700 for saying no. Fighter reputation is still nice and high. Everything is fine. So we're good. Um, we capped eloquence. So yeah, the only thing we need to do now... We don't even really need, need it to do it. Um, we're going to take some time off, give her some free time. Then we're going to study martial arts, because now... The last stat we need to worry about for anything, and we don't even really need it, is defense. If we had had more defense, then Anita would not have beaten us. So, unfortunately, defense does not go up very fast. Um, oh, I could show you how to farm defense, but it's going to slow me down. It's an Aaron tree. It doesn't really matter for this run. If you guys want to see more of this game, I guess let me know. We could do another run where I focus entirely on fighting. And then that would allow you to see how to ma how to farm defense. Because this is... The, the way I'm doing it, I know is a bad way to do it. This is a very inefficient way to do it. It just doesn't take as much real time practicing martial arts as it is doing errand trees to try to get my defense up. So I only got four points of defense there. So I'm probably gaining one point of defense every two and a half days or so that we're taking the class. So we still do have enough time to cap out defense. Um, and again, I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Um... But, so yeah, four points. So let's say four points a class. It's still going to be another seven classes. So that's three months worth. There I only got two points of defense. So it's, it's going to be a struggle. 
But what else are we using the money for, right? And the martial arts class doesn't really cost all that much. It's only $60 a day, which... I mean, that's a lot when you don't have money, but when you have 10 grand and can go get more money at will, it just doesn't matter. So we're just going to keep shit-kicking these sticks, these posts, which may even actually help her out in her career if I get the ending I want. Um... But we'll see. Uh, defense up by three. Uh, if this was Monster Rancher, those numbers would be so low. Like, those gains would be so slow. I'd be like, nope, we're putting you on a different course. Because I'm not wasting the money and the time to keep doing this. But there's nothing else she needs, man. Nothing. And her cap is like... I think 120 because she, she's wearing armor. So, this is really pointless. Um, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, once summer rolls around, I'll put her in, I'll, I'll send her on vacation to drop her weight. We want to get her kilos down to about 44. And then I'll stick her in the demon dress. That way y'all can... See her wearing something else that'll keep her morality at zero. It won't change anything. It'll make her glamour a little higher, which doesn't really matter. Ooh, I gotta be careful about clicking that. I want to accidentally click to accept a marriage proposal. I still don't think that'll end the game, but it, it might... It, it would affect the ending, although I don't know if that would override my ending, since I don't think marrying a rando counts as a special marriage ending, but I'll have to look that up. Five points of defense there. Still climbing. Is 102 my cap? Nope. I need to check her armor, because I think the armor is giving her defense, and that would affect her cap. Hmm, or not. Maybe I need to take her armor... Oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, maybe I need to take her armor off. But no. Okay, so her armor is giving her 22 points of defense. So her cap is probably 122. Her magic defense may also be... May also be able to go higher. Let's take her armor off. Um... Let's see. Let's give her some time off... And then we'll have her study more at theology. Why not? Um, we'll alternate theology and martial arts. And at this rate, she is going to run out of money before she gets everything recapped. But that's okay. Um, we can always have her uh, just go out again and slaughter some creatures. Yeah, there we go. That's getting defense and magic defense up again. So when I stick her back in the armor, she should be even stronger. Um, let's do the same thing. Study theology, study it twice, and then study martial arts once. Yep, let's do that. We'll stick with this pattern until she caps out her magic defense and her standard... Well, her magic defense is almost capped again. 103, maybe? Because it went up from the Goddess of War. No, that seems to be her cap now. 100 seems to be her new current cap. Well, we can try one more just in case. We are very quickly running out of money. Okay, so study again once at Theology and then twice at Martial Arts. Actually do one and one and then we'll do a vacation, a summer vacation to drop her weight. We'll see if Magic, def if magic Defense doesn't go up at all here, then I'm going to say it's capped. Yeah, it's got to be capped. Okay, that's fine. But her standard defense can still go up. Okay. 
Okay, and then go to the ocean. Swim, swim, swim. Get your weight down. Excellent. Okay. So now, as we enter July, we're going to stick her in her demon dress. Awesome. Um, I don't like the number of eyeballs that are on it, but it's probably fine. All right, we're going to study at the martial arts again. And I believe I can put on the armor when we're actually at Errantry. So we'll do that. We'll do time off. And then we'll do one Errantry out to the Western Desert for a little extra cash. How about that? So I think I can put her armor back on once we're out at the desert. And I'll take it off her again once we're back. But yeah, we, so we've got her defense up to 97, and that's before the armor goes on. So, okay, so here we go. Can I change? Okay, I probably need to be camped for it. It's fine. She doesn't really need the armor when she has 113 combat skill, almost 100 defense. Um, and a hundred magic defense, she's not going to need to wear the armor. I don't think. And I really probably don't even need to fight because that's not going to get me anything. Well, even if it's a couple dollars, since we're a little low on cash right now. Um, I may as well fight my way through this. And we've got so much faith. We have over 500 faith. I'll trade it for some stamina. All right, it's nighttime, set up camp. Ah, change equipment, there we go. I should have brought other equipment with me, for example, mithril armor. Sigh, here we go again. What would you do without me, my lady? Well, if I must, I can bring it to you. Cool, that didn't even take any time. My defense is still 97? Wait. What? She didn't actually put it on. That's weird. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's stamina. So I gained 54 points of stamina at the cost of 11 faith, increased my sin. Oh, it does take a little time. Okay, so Cube now brought the mithril armor. Um, you know, Tengu put it on, and now my defense is 119. Excellent. That's what I wanted. All right, so now I'm just going to hang out here until the end of the adventure. Another adventure complete. We didn't earn as much money as we could have, but it's not too bad. Now, Akamura is not currently miked. Uh, well, I'm going to ask her opinion of the demon dress. So, Akamura, what do you think of the demon dress? She said wow, and she wants it in her dress-up game, Love Nikki. That is not the reaction I was expecting out of the Akamura. But hey, if she likes those eyeball earrings, then who am I to judge? Okay, so we've got everything we need. Um, there's nothing for me to do. There is literally nothing for me to do at this point. We're going to take the armor off. I guess we'll study martial arts twice and then send her on vacation to drop a little bit of weight. And then we pretty much have nothing more we need to do for the rest of the game. Which is making this a bit awkward because I don't know what to do to fill time, but... Okay, she's at 102 defense. There's 103. I assume that's her cap. Now she's 17. We're not going to buy her a present. Bear of the necklace. Yep, thank you for all the points. Oh, shit, her defense went up to 105. Oh, shit. Maybe that's her cap? Um, let's hit the ocean real quick. Or drop some weight. Okay. Uh, daughter of the hero, Lady Valkyrie. She's gonna give us a sword, it looked like, I think is what that said. A curious sword. 25 attack, 10 defense, 18 combat skill. That might be better than her current weapon, actually. Yes, it is. Holy crap. Um, 
We've got all these iron long swords that we've picked up as loot, and I've just been too lazy to go deal with it and sell it. Yeah, her attack goes up 5, defense will go up 10, her combat skill goes up 8. Wow. Alright, and then we'll throw on the mithril armor again. So there we go. So she's got... 121 combat skill, 129 attack, and 137 defense with 115 magic defense. She's not going to lose any fights from here on out. So, there's nothing more for me to do. I kind of want to drop her sensitivity. What can I do to drop her sensitivity without making everything explode? Uh, tactics. She could do tactics. Um, she could do housework. Sure, let's make her do housework. Why not? Now that she's 17 years old, she can learn how to clean. Um, this still should not override the ending because her ending should still be fully dependent on the fact that she has no morality but a high sin. And the only numbers that we care about that are changing really are sensitivity and stress. So... You may be wondering, if you haven't played this game before, why you would want sensitivity, because I talk about it as if it's a bad thing. Um, it can be a bad thing. If it's too high, there are certain things that she will refuse to do, or certain things that uh, she becomes, again, sensitive to. She'll be more... I'm trying to remember exactly what it is. I did look it up. Um... But she's more apt to doing certain negative behaviors if she's too sensitive. However, the upside is she will randomly find items during errantry and she can talk to creatures, even things that shouldn't be able to talk to her, and she can convince them not to fight. And so that is one way of handling combat. It's kind of a cool feature that in the errantry, if her intelligence is high enough, she can hide from them. If her stamina is high enough, she can run from them. If her sensitivity is high enough, she can talk to them. Or if her combat or magic skills are high enough, she can actually murder them. So, even if, like, you're not pigeonholed into taking a combat route, if you really don't want to take a combat route, but you could still do errantry. There are some enemies that that's not true with, like the War God, you know, you have to fight him. Um, there are certain other special bosses, special enemies, who will uh, not be vulnerable to that stuff, but the common enemies, especially if you're just exploring and trying to get the treasure chest, you can approach it in different ways depending on your build and how you want to approach that specific run. And speaking of which, all of our work on defense has really helped. Anita can't do shit to us. Even when she's landing her shots, they aren't doing nearly as much damage as they did last time. So, not to mention we have that special sword. So we probably won't knock Anita out. Yep, but we still beat her. That's all that matters. I'm going to time skip the rest of this tournament. Another tournament victory, 3,000 more dollars in the bank, plus another sword, which we will not sell. Fighter rep is at 597. Holy crap, Neo Tengu, you are dominating everyone and everything. And now, back to housework. It's just going to be housework, basically, for the rest of your childhood here for the next, like, nine months. As weird as that is, I mean, I just... I, I want to kill her sensitivity. We're going to make her very cynical and hate the world. It will play into the ending, so it'll be fine. I haven't... I still haven't quite figured out what te temperament is for. Temperament doesn't generally play into most things. I think one or two endings are affected by it. It's mainly used for getting renown with the queen. Because each of the castle people um, have a particular stat that they want to see. Like the bishop, it really wants to see faith, I believe. It, you know, it, it's all logical. Um, but the queen wants temperament, and I don't know if it has any other effect in the game. I've also been 
told, or I, I've seen in the advice that cleaning also basically doesn't give you anything. I mean, cleaning helps with housework reputation if you really just want her to be a housewife. Um, but, you know, why? I still personally find housewife a failure state. Only just because, you know, it's it's the one you get when you're not good at anything else. And so I would prefer her to be good at something else. You know what I mean? So, you know what? I'm going to do vacations also. Just to make sure I trigger the right... Uh, the CJs. There'll be less I'll have to do next time. I mean, she's earned it, man. She, she's she got a lot of money. She She's done well for herself. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute CG. I'll probably use that as one of the thumbnails. Okay, so one at the mountain, one at the ocean. That's a pretty cool CG also. See, these CGs aren't bad. I mean, they're kind of simplistic, but like... You know, they're fun. They're good thumbnail opportunities. Okay, so so that was the winter one. So I can't do another one until... I mean, I can, but I'm not going to get a new one until spring. So I guess that'd be April or March? I guess I could wait till April. Clean those floors, Neo Tango. This isn't going to make you resentful at all. Her sensitivity is down to 36, so this is... We're getting it down to where I, I wanted to zero it out, so this is making me happy. Um, the rest of the numbers here don't matter in the slightest to me. I just want to make sure she's good and cynical and cold and logical and has no emotions or no emotional stability whatsoever. Because that is what we need for the ending I'm chasing, so... We'll get there, I hope. Okay, so this was March, so we'll do... We'll send her on vacation again, since now we're going to be in spring. Once this month is over, anyway. This has been really successful. I really planned this out correctly. I'm glad I did one practice run with her... Just, just me fighting. The ending I got in that one uh, was general. Um, I, I basically just focused on how to maximize my fighter reputation and get good at fighting, um, and that was all I did. So her fighter reputation was crazy high, but I also kept her faith and morality up too. So I don't know what the thresholds were for that one. I didn't look it up, but that's where she went. So. This one is doing much better. Okay, so once again, work. Your sensitivity is a zero, but go ahead and do housework anyway. It'll make me laugh. And then time off. Two vacations. Go for it. And after that, there's just nothing for me to do with her. She's got so many good numbers. She's, she's exactly where we need her. I guess... The only other one, maybe, that we could do is the magic class, because then she'll start gaining magic skill, which will make her harder to hit. I can't think of anything else for her to do for her last few months here, so we'll just go with that. Why not? This will kill her sensitivity again. Nice and zero, exactly where we want it. Her cleaning is almost capped, as if I care. And now she's doing magic bits, and she's gaining her magic skill pretty quickly. That's what I was hoping for. Because skill is accuracy and dodge. So, if her magic skill caps out at 100, she'll never be hit by magic. But, it's not going to matter... But, you know, just for the sake of capping her out, this will also affect my score. But if I get the ending I want, then her score is going to be really low anyway. <laughs> the uh, Princess Maker 2 wiki 
is so well documented that I believe it has the exact formulas the game uses to determine your score. There are no achievements specifically related to score, so you don't have to worry about that if you're chasing achievements. Score is literally just a score. It's just something for you to compare yourself to. But the game gives you more points for morally good and uh, more upstanding endings, which makes sense, I guess. But, you know, what's a failure state or a success state? In this case, my success state is a very specific ending. Oh, that's the sorceress girl. Um, I will take magic skill, please. Actually, no, I will take magic defense, since it's capped, so you can break the cap. She's one of the few who gives you the choice. Yeah, she just increased my magic defense by 38, uh, 28 points or whatever. So she's... We're very strong now. <laughs> um, so again, study magic. And then time off twice for vacations. And we are almost done. We're already in July, so... We don't have much left here, and Neo Tengu will be finished. Okay. Uh, once to the mountains, summer vacation, that's cute too. Oh, all of these are cute artworks. And then once more to the ocean, cut some weight. Okay. And then... Uh... Wow, yeah, that's all that's left. 13 days. Do housework. <laughs> that's a good way to celebrate her passing into adulthood, because uh, Daddy needs the dishes done and doesn't want to do it himself. Okay. So, do I get my ending game? I'm not buying her a damn present. Okay, got 18 points. Great. Okay, here we go. The Fateful Day. And I'm going to read this out rather than skipping text. Because I want to. Alright, I'm, I'm going to save the game, just in case. Um, and yes, you can see my my test daughter's name was Subject. Get it? Test Subject? Alright, let's do this. Do I get my ending? Eight years passed by just like a dream. That's not good. I'm all grown up now, father, but to be honest, I can't say I'm all that grateful to you. Well, I turned out pretty healthy at least, so I guess I can't complain. She was on a flower background last time. When I look back at my childhood, the only thing I remember doing is training. Why exactly did you train me so much? If you really loved me, father, why did you force me to follow such a punishing training regimen? Because I'm a terrible dad. Accept it. Neo Tango. You made me do a lot of part-time work. A lot of the jobs didn't feel very ladylike. So why did you keep making me do them? Well, the work itself wasn't all that difficult, so I guess it's fine. Anyway, I've managed to become an adult somehow. I'm finally free to do what I want, when I want, and I'm going to do it the best way I know how. Well, just wait and see. Aw, oh, please give me my ending. I've worked hard at trying to plan this crap out. If I've got it, I know I know the system very well. 18 years old. The age to leave the nest and make your place in the world. What did she choose? I'm worried. The lady has yet to settle on a job. She's beautiful and known for her skills as a warrior, so there must be something out there for her, but... Dot dot dot. Don't make me click. An ordinary job just isn't enough to satisfy me. Can't anything spark my interest? Ha ha ha! Something wicked's taking root in your heart. Be very careful! Wicked? Oh, please. If you're a fortune teller, then why don't you predict the perfect job for me? 
That Cupid in the top right's like, I don't know about this, man. Well, you're certainly not suited for honest work, but you have too much pride to become a gang member or a harlot. You really don't mince words. You can make your daughter a hooker. You just have to work at it. That was actually plan A. Then I found one more interesting. There's a suspicious private club near this lazy bar. A great many men gather there wanting to be punished by young women like you. Yes! I got the ending! They want to be punished? Being whipped? Having hot candle wax dripped on them? You know, the clients are all wealthy men. They don't have to all be men. There could be some wealthy ladies into that. How interesting. Lead the way. Good grief. The heroes raised quite the dismaying daughter. Yay! We got the ending I was chasing. And so Neo Tengu began working as a dominatrix at the private club. Sigh. Don't sigh at me, game. Don't judge me with your judgy eyes. I'll kick you. Under the darkness of the new moon, a shadow as black as pitch descended upon Neo Tengu's bedroom. I mean, doesn't that make it more appropriate for her line of work? Girl, you are just as I'd hoped you'd be. You've grown into a beautiful woman. Tonight, I've come to make you mine. Thank you for adding those last four words. The Demon Lord Lucifon! Wait, are we marrying the demon? Because I thought that was its own ending. Your immeasurable beauty and elegance make you a wife worthy of me. Me? You want me to be your wife? Oh shit. You started out as a girl from the heavens, but now you are steeped in sin. The mark of heaven is faint upon you, while evil has stained your soul so beautifully. It is foolish to think you could ever belong in either the mortal realm or the heights of heaven. <laughs> I'm... So happy right now. Brings a tear to my eye. We're being consistent with dead or alive lore. I, the Lord of the Underworld, the Demon King Lucifer, am the only man capable of bringing you happiness. Now come, and also let's leave. Eh, okay. I will be your wife, Lord Lucifer. Double yay! Excellent. The underworld isn't so bad. All of its treasures and might are at your disposal. Let us live a life of decadent splendor together. Okay. Wait, I need to say goodbye to my father. Why? I don't want you. Go away. Uh. I think it would be best to leave without a farewell. What could possibly be left to tell him now? <laughs> Other than good job and high five. Eh, you're right. I mean, you are exactly what I wanted you to be. Oh my god. And so Neo Tengu became the wife of the Demon Lord and was never seen by Falcon again. That's fine. I'll move on to the next girl and mess her up too. It's, it's 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 no problem. Unholy matrimony. Your daughter married the demon lord. Cool. Thanks for that uh, achievement. Hero, I hath diligently observed thine actions as a father for some time now. Boy, am I cross. For an adult, thy daughter's abilities are shameful. Thou... Heart a disgraceful parent. Yay! Plus one! Objectives achieved. However, she is steeped in sin, a burden she will carry for the rest of her life. Thou art solely responsible for this. 
It's pitiful that she took up such a miserable vocation. If thou had been a better parent, things may have turned out better. But I mean, that was my goal, so is it really a problem? I think that just means I'm perfect at my job. After that, it would seem she performed excellently at her job indeed. Oh, we corrupted so many angels watching her. And we loved watching her. Even so, I never imagined that she would end up marrying the Demon Lord. Oh, she was a blessing from the heavens. Uh, hero, this is a consequence of the depths of thine own sin! Uh, perhaps humans truly are irredeemable. I'm on YouTube, what do you expect? I'm on the same platform as Logan Paul and Alex Jones and that one- Stephen Chowder, is that his name? Now then, hero, thy daughter was originally a child of heaven, but now is tainted by the filth! Of the human world, she has lost the brilliant radiance she once had in childhood. While this may be her fate, it is miserable indeed. Clearly it was a mistake to entrust her into thy care. Oh dear. <coughs> Can't keep that voice going on too long, I'm gonna have to keep drinking my sunkist. Have more shit to say or can I take a sip? Alright! We've done it everyone! We've corrupted an innocent girl. High five. Also, soundless fireworks because this run is complete, not the series, necessarily, unless you guys want the series done. Um, there's her height and her weight. I'm not going to do the freedom units calculation. It doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. Tell me what you think in the comments. Wouldn't you entrust your daughters to me? It probably wouldn't go the same way. I'm going to play this out because I want to see what my score is. Most executed job was martial arts. Most executed, or er, study was martial arts. Job was farm. Relationship with father was a hundred? Ooh, I got away with one there. I thought for sure that would be all I need to have her marry me. Total points was minus 221. That's good. That tells you what kind of parent you really are. <laughs> And so the, ta the tale of father and daughter came to a close. Thank goodness, because we didn't need more corruption in our world. Okay. I'm going to skip that. Here we are back at the title screen. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got so many more endings we can do. Um, here's all the vacations. You can see what I mean about, like, so it's age 10 and 11, spring, ocean. I'm probably going to do a run where I just go out of my way to get all the vacations. Um just to make sure I get all these CGs and everything. But, like, we have so many endings, man. So many endings. It seems like these are organized maybe by priority. This one's where she marries Cube. Um, this one's probably where she marries you, the dad. I don't know what the fuck's going on here, but she's bleeding from the eye, so that can't be good. There's Mysterious Mistress. Yeah, so these are all the bad ones, I think. Um, and then the best ending for the game is this one, and I think that's Queen. I don't think that's Princess. I think this one's Princess. But I don't remember for sure. But anyway, if you want to see any of these other endings, let me know. I can even look through the list and just look for interesting ones, unless there's a specific request for something. But there's my general ending. Um, there's our bride in training, the awful fucking ending we got with Tamaki. And, uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I guess another project we could do is have her marry me, but let's... <sighs> Should I give you ideas? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this run of Princess Maker 2. If you want to see more, let me see with your views and your comments, but especially the views. Share the videos over on the reddits with princess maker and uh i think we can all agree i'm a terrible father and should never have a real child thank you all very much for watching i will see you again soon for another series 
Is this a victory? I'm calling it a victory. I'm calling it a victory. This is my channel, so my opinion is the only one that matters for that. Ugh. So sorry, Neo Tango.